Next we have our wax paper fish. You take a wax piece of wax paper. Actually you could just cut it's pretty much a circle. A little bit oval to it. And then cut your fin like that. Okay, so you have your wax paper fish like this. And you give the children pieces of tissue paper cut in squares, assorted colors. Okay, once they they use the white glue for this and it sticks really well and they just overlap all the squares and then they put on the little black eye if they want or whatever color eye they want or if you want a googly eye you put that on just to decorate however they like and then after it's dried it takes a while to dry probably overnight you can put it up on the window and all the different fish the different designs the different ways the different colors that they've used for their fish whoops this fish is tail got folded over there he goes okay and this fish like that see the different assortment of colors the children have fun doing this and then they like to see it through the window when it's up on the window you can see through the window pane and see the nice colors coming through the fish that's our wax paper fish which is easy to do and fun for them to do as well next I have my rainbow fish you probably have heard of the story about the rainbow fish well this is our rainbow fish now this pattern was one I just found in a a book somewhere um, whatever shape fish you want to use if you want to use one like the wax, wax paper fish go ahead if you've got a design like this pre-cut already or from a book somewhere or a pattern from somewhere use it whatever you like then again these are tissue squares but they've been cut see how they've been cut around like this like a scale and there's pieces of foil silver foil that we cut too so that they put on the tissue in lines in rows like that and then they put on the silver you remember the story about the rainbow fish who shared all his his beautiful scales with the other fish and everybody loved him once he started sharing all his beautiful silver shiny scales and that's how you create that one that's called our rainbow fish oh also if you have that one you can do something else with it oh, if I can find it you can take it and put a, a band like a piece of paper behind and make it into a where are you? Make it into a hat. If only I could find it. Oh, here he is. He's hiding out over here. This one hasn't been decorated yet, but it's just a, a strip of paper. And there they have their fish hat. They want to wear that and decorate it like this. Yep. Come back, you. Anyway, it's a fish hat if they want to wear that. And you can decorate it like this or however they want. They like that. Okay, the next one we have is made from coffee filter. Take your coffee filter. Here's a coffee filter. You can see the ridges in it where it was a coffee filter. Okay, now these fish, again, I found a pattern for fish. Use whatever pattern you want. It doesn't have to be like this. It can be a whole whatever you like but I have it out of thick bristle board and I made several of them and then the children took it and put it on top of the coffee filter they traced it and then they cut it out or if you have little tiny ones you can do it for them then once it's traced and cut out you can take different colors of markers Take your markers and just put dabs on it or circles and you can leave it like that or you can take a spray bottle with water in it and spray it and it looks like this because all the shades and all the colors all run together and then of course you would put an eye on it but that's that's our coffee filter fish now this fish is a tiny one. This one was made for name tags. 
for the children. That's why it's smaller. And again, it was a picture I saw somewhere. I traced it, cut it out, and here are the, the thick cardboard. That's what it's made out of, Bristol board. Okay, here it is. See, I found the picture and I've made it bigger because it was too, too tiny. And you can do that. You just keep adding another layer of pencil and make it larger. Okay, with each one, they took it and they had fun with the glitter. And then after we were done with that, we put a hole in here and a, a string on it or a piece of plastic thread on it and they had their, their name tag and they had their name in the middle of it. It's really pretty with all the glitter on it. And they really love that. They work for the whole day. They really like them. Okay, now sometimes at uh, Michael's or at a craft store, you can find little foam fish like this and then they just add the pieces to them and decorate them. And they're already, they come with the fish by like the piece like this and then they just decorate and cut the different shapes of foam however they want them to go. Or they can take the glitter glue and decorate like that. Another thing that we were able to find at one of the craft stores were shapes like this and this. So we have a seahorse and we have a starfish and we had, I think, we even had a shape that was like a jellyfish or an octopus. And I just took them and I traced them. And then the children, they used them too. If they, if there were several in the package. And they just traced them. And look what they did with them. They used glitter glue or glitter paint. And they decorated them like that. Or some of them got fancy and put googly eyes on and dots and decorated like that. Painted and decorated. Okay, I don't have to show you this seahorse. It's amazing. That's the seahorse again. With, I don't know if you can see it, but there's glitter glue on there. And, oh, his googly eye went way down there. But this one has the googly eye in the right spot. But they just did glitter paint on it. And that really came out nicely. They had fun decorating those. These also were from this package with these. They're, they're hard like cardboard. They are cardboard. And the children just took this or the shape like this fish and traced it and put this with it. And they had fun with these either jellyfish or octopus, octopi, because there's more than one. They had fun decorating these. And they probably put a couple of ghouly eyes on those too. This one you can tell is a little guy because they're just starting out with their coloring. Probably about three years old did this one. But the older children can do them. Oh, here's the hard cardboard shape. That came. They came in a package with all the different shapes. You can probably find that at one of your craft stores. Again, there's another hard one and they traced it. We had some of our seahorses. We just didn't do black, we did. I did a lot of colors so that the children could choose which one they wanted to decorate. And they had fun with that. So keep your eyes open when you're in the craft stores. You might find that. This one was a creation that I think is awesome. It's Starfish. And as you can see, she's JK and she just made the crosses and some are even the shape of a star with the glitter glue or the glitter paint. Okay. Uh, this is another idea. This is a neat one. Take a paper bag and fold over. Fold over the top of it. And then draw an eye on it. This is for little guys. And then draw your scales. And your open end is here. You take your tissue paper or scrap paper or newspaper, whatever you got. After they painted it, of course. And you stuff it with that. And they painted it whatever color they want it. You can put a ribbon on here or like I'm doing, I'm just putting an elastic on. Hold the, the tissue in excuse me, on the tail. 
like that. And there, that gives you a, a 3D fish. There you go. Neat. And it's easiest to me. Just fold these over, glue them down, the ends, leave the open part open, draw on your scales. Older ones could do this by themselves. Little guys would probably do this, the painting of it and the stuffing of it themselves. And you could help them with a, a tie or an elastic here. So that, and you could even hang it up. It's going to be a neat hanging fish on your ceiling in your classroom. That would look super. All right. Now, oh, here's more of the, the shapes that I told you that were already made of cardboard that came in the package, all the different shapes for the sea fish. And again, here's some decorating they've done with that. So this is our, our fish bowl. Now you can either do a circle and just a straight line at the top, or if you'd rather, you can do it like this. I put a straight line here and a straight line here. It doesn't matter how big it is. And some are huge, like this. Some are small, like this. Then you take goldfish. They're crackers. Cracker, goldfish crackers, and your white glue. Oh, they love this one because they get to eat part of it. And you take your goldfish and they glue them on. They probably eat as much as they glue, but they have a ball doing it. And then you have your goldfish in your goldfish. Oops, they're moving because I haven't glued them, but you get the idea. Just glue them on. And if you want to, you can put some strips of green going up, or they can use their markers and color green in like a little goldfish bowl or an aquarium, and they can add the green, wavy green coming up. You can do construction paper, markers, crayons, chalk, pastels. And if they want to make bubbles in the water, whatever, they can take it from there. And they have a ball just creating. And that's it for our fish. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate your support. And look forward to the next day with another new activity, another new topic. Thanks for tuning in again. Take care.